today's video. After I've cut all this, it's gonna be my transporter. And a few things I've done to it. I've done the LED front lights, indicators, running lights, side lights, they all look really good. And I've put one of those um, stone protectors on the front bonnet. I'm going to be putting a sun visor. that that should look really good I think you've got to drill into the pillar which I'm a little bit worried about but we'll uh, we'll have a look what that looks like general look around I've got some seats going in the back as well I'm not going to camp and convert it but I've got all this lot to get through and I've done all that so far I did all that yesterday uh, surprising how much you can get out of a uh, a tree really isn't it? I've got all that to chop. With chopping trees is you have to cut it and split it as quickly as possible. Otherwise otherwise it toughens up. But this is relatively easy compared to some of the other stuff I bought. It took me ages. My dog enjoys it as well. Right, oh, here's the transporter. This is when I first bought it. To be honest with you, it looked a very nice looking vehicle. Nice alloys, side steps, skirted, but it needed my extra touch, as I like to say to it. So I started with the front stone protector. You've got to put little brackets on first, then you screw in quite nicely and clamp on the front. And you have to measure all that properly. And there it is. Believe you me though, bloody sharp when putting it on the edges and you can cut yourself quite easily when washing anyway headlights these are the running lights nice LED these are side lights on the top and there's the LED and that's the edge of it you can see what a massive difference in fiber runs massive difference these are an ordinary beam and they look really nice so you can fly people at all these are infinity LED bulbs well worth buying and they're kind of parts if you put the first sleeve in and then put in. And actually sit at the bottom of your blind people. You won't get the line, but you have to have it in AT. This will pass. Some might or might moan. Indicator, left ordinary, right LED. Massive, massive difference in the back and the front. A lot harder at the back though, because different size bulbs. These were not so brilliant. You can see the difference there, can't you? LED to standard bulb, not amazing. But now, stripes down the side, I know you can put them either way, I decided to put them that way on. I still think it looked really nice. Lip spoil at the back, I did the rear bulbs as well. It's really coming together now, I think, personally. Now at the front, honestly, the sun visor, drilled in, it's about three mil high on one side. You need two people, I didn't have that. You have to build up first, no instructions, but it looks so nuts. Only thing, it does wobble when driving along at 50, 70 mile an hour. You do notice it wobbling, it catches your eye. You get used to it though. But that's really coming together. Now the transport down the side, can you see them? I think they made it look a lot, lot newer and very nice personally. Definitely upgraded the whole vehicle. And there we have the nice looking upgrades on this motor now. Really, really coming together. all in just a good looking van you can do so much to them had a lot of carbon already on it back lights were changed the leds there i should have shown them really shouldn't i but i didn't but all in everybody thought it was a much newer van this is a 2011 van and it looks much much newer i do like the decals down the side i do like the sun visor the stone chip led lights all in starts to look a lovely little motor now we get to see inside alloys were oz, oz alloys these are seat covers, you can get some really nice ones. I just started to stretch these head. I did put some seats in the back, uh, they were leather look seats. I had to put lap belts on them, um, but they also come out, so I was worried if it wouldn't pass the MOT, I can just pull them out. But it's nice being able to get, you know, more than three people. It's very tight squeezing these anyway. Um, nice Kenwood head unit in there, that looks really nice to be honest with you. 
and Bluetooth and everything else. But from the inside and outside, all in, just a gorgeous looking motor. And it drove so well. Fast speed, good miles to the gallon, all in, brilliant. I was very happy with it. And all in, hopefully you like the look of it as well. Private wedge, for some, I think it may look a lot newer. And here we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. A little short one there. Bye-bye.